Hey Geometries, this is Mr. Bloom and this is a lesson, lesson 6-6, Trapezoids and Kites. Today, we're just doing trapezoids. So when we're doing this lesson, make sure you get down your um, objective so we can talk about it with some sort of understanding, okay? Now, I'm sorry, I've just gotta get this done real quick so we can talk about these things, okay. So our objective, students, I'm, I'm putting arrows all over the place, showing you what direction to go. Students will be able to use properties of trapezoids and kites, okay? So now, our essential understanding, the angle, the angle sides and diagonals of the trapezoids and kites are certain prop properties. Essential understanding, the angles, sides, and diagonals of trapezoids and kites have certain properties. So we need the word have in here, right there. Okay, trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides. One pair of parallel sides and those sides are the base. The parallel sides of the trapezoid are called bases. The non-parallel sides are called legs. These are my non-parallel sides, my legs, okay? The two angles that share the base of a trapezoid are called base angles. So this base and these two angles share the base of this side. These two angles share the base of this side. Please keep in mind, consecutive base angles like this that go along the, ang the leg here are supplementary because remember, Two parallel lines, these are same side interior angles. An isosceles trapezoid is a trapezoid with legs that are congruent. Now let's get that going. This is just all about a regular trapezoid up there. So an isosceles trapezoid is a trapezoid with legs that are congruent. Now, the angles of an isosceles trapezoid have some unique properties. These angles here are still supplementary. But in an isosceles trapezoid, these have something special, and so do these. Remember, it's isosceles because the legs are the same. Now, isosceles trapezoid. Let's do that. I like that stretch. If a quadrilateral is an isosceles trapezoid, then each pair of base angles is congruent. So if it's an isosceles trapezoid, and I know that from this and that, the base angles are congruent, and that's... Angle T and angle P are the same. Angle R and A, and keep in mind, they are supplementary. T and R add together to be 180 degrees, but this is all about base angles being congruent. Now, because of that, we can find the measures of these angles, okay? C, D, E, F, and I got C, D, E, F, is an isosceles trapezoid with measure of angle C, 65. What are the, what are the measures of angle D, angle E, and angle F? By what I just read, I know that F is also 65 degrees. From the facts, angle D and angle E are both supplementary to that 65 degree A. Uh, value because it's an isosceles trapezoid. More so, it's because it's a trapezoid. So 65 plus the measure of angle D is equal to 180. I subtract, and the measure of angle D is 115. So the measure of angle D and the measure of angle E are equal because it's an isosceles trapezoid. In an isosceles trapezoid, base angles are the same. So that's 115, and so is this. Now, let's see if you get it. Your turn. Turn me off and go. Okay, welcome back. Now, I, I turned the trapezoid. This looks tough. But remember, base angles are the same. So this is 106. So 106 degrees plus uh, the measure of angle Q is equal to 180 degrees. So the measure of angle Q after subtraction is 74 degrees. But that is also the measure of angle P. And we also know that the measure of angle Q, not Q, the measure of angle R is equal to the measure of angle S, which equals 106 degrees because it's an isosceles trapezoid. Now, another property of trapezoids, okay? Now, this is similar to what we saw with rectangles. Isosceles trapezoid, then its diagonals are congruent. If a quadrilateral is an isosceles trapezoid, diagonals are congruent. So it's isosceles, parallel line, parallel line, 
These legs are the same. It's an isosceles trapezoid. Then diagonals are congruent. Okay, those are diagonals are congruent in an isosceles trapezoid. Okay, so now in lesson 5.1, you learned about the mid segments. Okay, mid segment of a trapezoid. And 5.1 was mid segment of triangles. Trapezoids also have a mid segment. The mid segment of a trapezoid is the segment that joins the mid segment of its legs. The mid segment has two unique properties. Okay, let's look at those unique properties. We pull this down. Okay, so those unique properties. If the quadrilateral is a trapezoid, then the mid segment is parallel to the bases, just like it was for triangles. So the mid segment here that connects the two midpoints is parallel to these two bases that are also parallel to each other. R, A, and T, P are parallel. And the length of the mid segment is half the sum of the length of the bases. Hmm, half the length of the sum is the average of the bases. Crazy. So I take the average of those two bases and I have the length of the mid segment. And that's what this says right here. So now let's see what that looks like in problems. So QR is a mid segment of the trapezoid LMNP. What is X? So here's the deal. I know if I take F4X minus 10 plus 8 and divide it by 2, I get X plus 2. I could also, because that's the average of my two bases, but I could take 4x minus 10 plus 8 is equal to 2 times x plus 2, because if I multiply by 2 on both sides, I could get that and know that that is the same relationship. So now I'm going to go 4x minus 2 is equal to 2x plus 4. And I'm going to subtract 2. I've got 2x minus 2 is equal to 4. 2x is equal to 6 and x is 3. So I'm able to pop in 3, so this is 5, and this is 12 minus 10, which is 2. I should be able to go 2 plus 8 divided by 2 is equal to 5, and I check that off. So that is my stuff that I can know. But they ask just to find x, and this is my x value here. Now, my summary today. My objective, students will be able to use properties of trapezoids and kites. Okay, well, we can. Okay, write a couple of sentences about something that you learned today about the learning objective, then rate yourself on zero to four. Okay, now go ahead with today's assignment, and the assignment will be a little bit of an adjustment. Okay, we got six, six, we got that going, and go ahead and get that done. Thank you. If you have any questions, remember, locate a geometry teacher, and ask it of them. I'm Mr. Bloom, and you're not. Have a great day.